Okay, this is uh, the second part of our class that we talked uh, when we, I went through the preferences. Naturally, um, we did more than that in class. We looked at <clears throat> we looked at a bunch of things. Um, uh, even gone through all the files and talked about that. But what what I want to do is is just kind of review the uh, preferences. So we can go back and, and we can set them up so you can, before class starts, set them up on your computer. Um, or uh, if you download Dreamweaver and you, and you purchase it, uh, you can set up your preferences so they'll be easier for you to work with. Um, and uh, your computer at home will be able to mimic that that's in school. So anyway, I'm going to go under Dreamweaver menu item. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Preferences. And what you'll see is uh, most of the things I'm going to leave alone. There are only a couple of things that I will want you to change. Um, again, what we can do is turn on and off, depending if you accidentally turned it off, the welcome screen. Um, as I said in class, I recommend that you maybe you uh, keep it on for, uh, I don't know, a few weeks. Um, the other thing is, is that we talked about making sure this is clicked. Uh, use strong in EMs rather than the bold and the italic. Uh, use CSS instead of HTML tags. These are all things that you really want to keep checked because what you'll do is by keeping these checked, you will be um, maintaining um, the web standards that we spoke about in, in uh, uh, web layout and design. Let's see what else is here. Um, okay, accessibility. We're just going to keep that media. Please, I would just leave code coloring alone unless you join a specific design team that has their own coloring arrangements. Um, this is code format, and what you're going to see is uh, we do have the ability to indent um, and to tab so our code view will be a little easier to understand. Uh, sometimes it depends on how complex my page is. Uh, sometimes I tab, sometimes I don't. But anyway, what you'll see is uh, this is set, and now this is a default that Dreamweaver has given us, so that's not a, that's nothing that we really have to do either. Again, this is all set up in Dreamweaver by default. Uh, what this is going to do is close our tag. So let's say we start a P element. As soon as I hit the uh, angle bracket and the forward slash, I'll get a P and it'll close the uh, element for, for me. Um, if you want to do like test yourself, you know, before uh, it, 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 uh, the hint pops up, you can set it for five seconds. I like the hints. I can ignore them, um, but I like the hints, so I keep that always set to zero. Code rewriting. Now, what you want to do is, um, I leave this alone, but what you can see is, is that um, uh, we can uh, deal with nested or anything, um, your special characters and what have you. And again, this is set up as default, and it is just fine. Uh, copy paste. Okay. What you'll see here is when we were at school, all we were doing is text struct keeping. If we paste text structure plus basic formatting in bold, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this just a little bit, and I'm going to click here and say text with structure, and I'm going to ask it to keep all my lists and paragraphs. Um, rather than just my bowls and stuff. Uh, definitely I don't want styles because if I take anything from Word, it's going to be a mess. So let the styles go. CSS styles, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using um, our shorthand uh, keys. This will be unchecked for you. We want it checked because when we're doing our, mar our margins or our, 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 our uh, padding, what we want is we want it we don't want a lot of code. So if I didn't have it checked, it would say margin uh, hyphen top, 
and it'd give me a setting and it would go all the way around the box map model. Here, all it's going to do is say margin and it'll go 0, 0, 0, 0 or 10, 10, 10 or whatever the margins are set and it's all going to be done within one rule. Uh, file compare, we don't have to do anything here. Now this is where we're going to want to do a little bit of setup. And what you'll notice is, is that I didn't, I told you in class to get rid of these. Um, you can, or what you could do is you can just change um, this to primary and the way you're going to do is select it and then just go make primary or click here, make primary and you can see how easy it is. I'm going to keep, um, oh wait, we don't want Photoshop 6 to be our primary. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to delete that. I'm going to say plus. Okay, and my applications, what, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to make it CC. So here we go, Photoshop, um, here's CC, select the, okay, open, okay, PNG, again, um, I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to add, Again, Photoshop CC. Uh, okay, CS6. Okay, come on. Uh, so you notice I have a lot of different older versions to help you guys out. I'm just going to type in. I don't. I don't have time to play around here. Um, here it is, Photoshop CC. I'm going to open that, and I'm going to make that my primary. JPEG. Okay. Again, I'm going to get rid of this. Hit the uh, minus key, and then I'm going to add one. And what I'm going to add again is I'm going to just type in here, Photoshop. There it is, select that, open, okay, make that my primary, uh, PSD, again, we want to add uh, Photoshop, there it is, click, click, make that my primary, uh, and just double check here, CC, Here's fine, here's fine, PSD. Uh, everything else pretty much can stay the same, so I'm set there. Now what we're going to, so if I click on in my uh, files menu or my assets and I want to edit anything, it will automatically open up uh, Photoshop CC. My fonts were all okay, and what you'll notice is my code view that I've set this for you for 18 points. I doubt that you'll need it that large. Uh, highlighting, I'm going to leave well enough alone. Invisibles, this is what I asked you to do, is please turn on named anchors. You're going to need that because whenever we have a named anchor, it's going to be invisible under, um, under display view. And also your line breaks are going to be um, invisible under display view. So you want those highlighted. And what's going to happen is these little badges off to the um, that you see off to the uh, right here are going to show up in your screen. New document. What we're going to do is I asked you guys in class. We're going to leave it as HTML. Um, usually I always do HTM rather than all four, but for you guys we're just going to keep it this way. Um, we want it to open up automatically in HTML5, so we're good there. Preview bot browsers. Okay, as I explained to you, um, I want to do Chrome as my prime, uh, as my, I want to do Firefox as my primary, and I'm going to do Chrome as my secondary. And the reason that I'm going to do that is because I like to use Chrome for research, and then I like to use Firefox for preview. I like to keep the two separate. I'm going to go ahead and my site, we're all okay here. Sync settings, well, like I said, we're going to have to investigate this a little bit. If you have two computers 
work, that'll work out just fine. But we don't have two computers here for our W3C validator. That's what we opened up down below. And we're going to automatically va um, validate for an HTML5 uh, document. Window sizes, we're good to go here. I don't need to make any changes. If I wanted to change and have something um, more of a default, I could come in here and we could add it. Um, but I'm not going to, I could add the width, I could add the height. And then what this is, is generally, this is generally speaking, the size of the document itself, particularly like the main content area or the width of the, the um, actual HTML file. This is the width of your monitor. Okay, I'm just going to hit close. Okay, so now we have all of the preferences set for us. So we're pretty much good to go. Um, I'm going to be putting these in week. Uh, one um, content area and we will go from there.